Hi, this is Suze Love and Tarot. We're going to be doing, let's see, we did uh, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Libra, and now I'm going to do um, the opposite sign of Scorpio, which is Taurus. Okay. I felt like that's important because uh, it just, it, it, I, I had a calling. I had a calling in the judgment. <laughs> Okay, I had a calling, and here's judgment. Okay, and then, um, okay, so, yeah. Okay, so faith came reversed here. Okay, so some of you may need to move with that, right? Or that might be a step to work towards. Okay. Oh, okay, so hmm. some of you, and that's a, Scorpio had this too. Okay, so. Some of you had contracts from past life, and so the call came, and some of you didn't move with it, and that kind of caused uh, some discomfort. A lot of times when we don't move with change, it can be uncomfortable. Okay, but it's not too late. The key is, that I've been suggesting, is tune in and decide if that's what you want to do or not, and go in one direction. Okay, then... Uh, you can change your mind or you can decide to maybe pick it up later. You just have to assess your own energy and what you're trying to create. Okay. And then here's faith. And move. Okay. So for me, uh, it depends on my mood and day. <laughs> what? How much faith I'm moving with. <laughs> So, but we could always go back to zero and uh, take a nap or, you know, uh, do some ohms or breathe, you know, and bring us back to that point, right? Uh, that place of faith, right? From hope to faith to knowing, right? So I feel like you're one step away here for some of you. Okay, so receive it now. All right. Whatever this is and you want it, receive it now. If you're not sure... Uh, do the work by going within. Okay, so that discomfort could be this, the call. Okay, so uh, Libra was all about listening to Gaia and the, the, the sounds of the universe. So um, some of you might have that uh, also in your charts. Okay, now. Okay, so that had you in indecision for some of you. Okay, not knowing what to do, so didn't do anything. Okay, so and it had to do with the call of the love, the past love. Okay, all right. So some of you... Many of you know who this person is. Okay, and you're aware of them. And uh, you wanted to go, but due to, uh, it could be as simple as restrictions for the C thing. It could be as simple as um, having to uh, tend to fa the family dynamic. Okay, um, there's that aspect, okay. So, but I feel like if you have a deep longing, this may be it. So, here's the lover. So, my suggestion is spend more time in silence and listen. And see, this little Cupid's arrow is right here. <laughs> It's now, okay? This is now, okay? That's what I'm picking up. Woo, Taurus, you're in your power here. Okay, so that's the suggestion, okay, is to just move with your energy. I feel like you're t fully in your power. Okay, so... Some of you are already with this uh, call that you had. Okay, so... Uh, person uh, 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 with the uh, past life contract. Okay, some of you are already in this point. Okay, so, and uh, 
but uh, there's okay so the determination towards your uh, expression your creation um, had you I feel like move away from one one type of dynamic or person so now um, you know oh and this came up in Scorpio too if you're an empath sometimes you can attract those things that are the opposite the polar opposite so I feel like um, if you had that experience that is over with and so the key is to trust this calling for your your uh, past life person to come in so you got to move with that faith to fully bring it into fruition okay that's what I'm picking up right now okay so whatever that was I don't want to label it but I know what it is but okay so the thing is uh, just let it go okay and then um, some of you are already with your person the call some of you um, and that was the person you left to go to with this next person some of you are on the way now the key is to move with the change so that um, so you're moving in flow you are now moving in flow I see it okay so here's hope <laughs> right hope to faith to knowing this is you the knowing you Taurus hope faith to knowing all right let's pull another one okay the Emperor yeah that's your person okay the, the call is here okay so you, some of you are not sure okay so the only way I could sit here and pull out cards for you which I'm gonna do now but ultimately you are the one that knows so if you feel like you don't you need more time okay to really tune into that all right so I'm gonna pull out some cards okay water sign see that's the message here there was a karmic past that had you in your emotions and not trusting so you have to move into trust now you know who the person is I feel like many of you here's water again so you're probably in deep in your emotions and afraid of the past karmic repercussions coming back again so move out of that and move into your Taurus energy that's my suggestion here's Virgo and here's fire so that's grounding that fire energy within you okay uh, moving in moderation when it comes to extreme fire okay and uh, tempering that okay and grounding your dreams into this reality now bringing that uh, contract moving in that contract that's what I see okay some of you it affected your health this past thing because it uh, in your mind it affected your health and maybe it was mental health but then and it could have affected your physical body. But know that it's just a, a, a physical apparatus and that pure energy is coming through. And as you pull in more of that, um, it will start to feel aligned again. Some of you joined the gym and did it that way. Okay, so here's Aquarius. All right, so that came out in Scorpio. Yeah. So I feel like, see, both signs are kind of pulling in energies from the opposite side to find stability. 
Okay, and that's what I feel like that earth sign is there for. To bring in, to charge your body with the chi energy. Okay, so you might do chi gung, tai chi, anything that's going to pull in that fire. Um, like solar plexus and move that through your whole body. Okay, and Virgo is stomach, right? Rules the stomach area. So bring in the fire to move through your whole body. And then here's Aquarius. Okay, so... Um, that's bringing your dream world into this physical reality. So what's missing here? We've got Saturn is in Aquarius and Jupiter is in Aquarius. So I feel like some of you feel like luck is not on your side. But if this card is here, I feel like you're pulling in that energy. So luck is on your side. And um, know it. Okay, so Uranus energy is in Taurus, so that's your energy in there. So now you're going to want to feel like doing something completely different than that past life contract. I already know with this Uranus energy here. <laughs> okay, so um, that's why I was suggesting in the beginning here, just go in and tune in to see if you want to continue with that or not. Because desires can change. Creations can change. Okay. So it's up to you if you want it or not. So. Um, Pluto. Okay. So some of you. Um, Pluto's in Capricorn right now. The transit. So it could be. Uh. Okay, so that's moderating, finding balance and stability, and moderating that kind of those extreme sexual urges. So um, it's like move with the fire, but not in an extreme, like balance and stable is what I'm getting. You're, you're the way Taurus likes to move. Okay, so maybe that's why it's coming up here. Maybe that's why this energy is suggesting uh, moderation. Okay. All right. And balance and stability and looking at things uh, realistically is what I'm picking up. Okay. What else? Okay. So uh, if Pluto's showing up, that's what I was suggesting. It could be Scorpio energy that you're harnessing also. So find the positive aspects of that sign and your sign and align those. Anything else? <laughs> Scorpio shows up. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see. Love language. Uninhibited and released. Okay, so maybe some of you are afraid of your own energy. Okay. <laughs> With this newfound freedom in Uranus energy, it may have you feeling like uh, thinking things that you've never thought of before. Okay, so it's uninhibited and released, feeling free. And that could be sexually too. All right, so uh, with that said, um, just... Go with the flow, right? That's what I would suggest. And um, the the energy, the undercurrents is like if, be free and more open and stuff like that. But just pay attention to that, okay? And, uh, and I would try to kind of moderate those extreme urges. <laughs> okay, so because... That happened to uh, Capricorn, and then Pluto came to assist. Okay, so, uh, yeah. So, there you go. 
beyond words. Okay, so that's what you've been feeling, I feel like, a lot of you. It's that deep knowing that it's time. The call is here. Okay, so the key to that is uh, move with it. Move with the call. If you're open to it, move with the call. That's what I'm getting here. I feel like that's the path of least resistance. So when that person shows up, receive it. That's what I see. That's what my suggestion is. I, I feel like that will just change your world. Okay. I leave you with that, Taurus.